Hello everyone and welcome to Ovesen.net. I hope you are all fantastic. Uh, this is uh, one of my old Commodore 64s and this is an uh, Arduino Uno. So in this video I'm gonna use my Commodore 64 uh, to control an Arduino or some uh, other electronics and vice versa to control the Commodore from an Arduino and uh, for this I'm gonna use uh, the user port. To connect to the Commodore's user port I uh, bought these uh, edge connectors uh, from eBay a cheap from China of course and uh, they fit the right into the user port so this is the actual edge connector I uh, purchased it's a 24 pin which is 2 by 12 pins and it only cost uh, around uh, 2 euros in order to communicate with the user port on the Commodore, you need to know which pins uh, goes where and uh, to know that you can uh, go to the C64 wiki or other pages uh, like this one here, uh, which uh, has a table of all the different pins and what they are used for. So what pins do we need to uh, hook up? Um, the answer to that is it depends on how you're going to communicate with the computer. If you're going to do a serial communication, you will use the pins from 1 through 12, which is the upper pins. Uh, if you're going to do parallel communication, you will use the pins on the other side on the, of the connector, uh, A through 1, uh, sorry, A through N. First of all, we need to connect the ground pin and uh, the ground pins are on the edges of the connector. Pin 1 and A and pin 12 and N. It's very important to notice the direction of the connector for the user port and the pins. And since my uh, edge connector, which I bought, uh, can go in any direction, I need to be careful. And the illustration uh, as seen here is uh, uh, facing the computer from behind the user port. Uh, and if you want to see how the user port looks uh, for real, it's like this. So um, now you are pretty sure which pin to connect where. So what I want to do is to uh, use parallel communication because I think that's easier to perform uh, to transfer data than serial communication which uh, means that you have to have some uh, handshake and protocol between uh, the computer and the other device. So that means I'm gonna solder on wires to the 12 pins on the bottom side of the connector. Now since my uh, connector doesn't have any up or down because it doesn't have any stoppers to prevent it from going in any direction I have to of course mark it with uh, up. So if this is up and it goes into the user port like this and this is pin 1 then I mark uh, this one as 1. I start by soldering uh, wires to the connector and uh, I already prepared uh, some wires here. So let's do the soldering. Since I am connecting up the parallel pins on the connector I will solder on wires to the down side of the edge connector. And I start by uh, two uh, ground wires, which I use uh, black for.
Then I just soldered the rest of the pins uh, with the random colors. All right, that's sold 12 wires. Um, in addition, I'm gonna solder on a red wire to the plus five volt on the upper side. Um, plus five volt is on pin two. In order to protect the pins and not accidentally shortcutting anything, um, I need a case, uh, something to protect uh, the connector and I found several here at the Thingiverse and I'm gonna choose this one here. This one looks to be a fairly good uh, quality and design so I'm gonna print this one with my 3D printer. The print came out very nice and uh, seems to be a very good fit. So I just need to find a couple of uh, screws. Great, this looks like a really good and uh, solid uh, connector. And I also uh, labeled um, all the wires so I know which one is which. Then I put a zip tie around the wires just to keep them uh, tidy. That looks a lot better. No, the other end of each wire is just stripped off uh, the insulation, but um, I think they might be a little bit too thin to be used uh, on a breadboard or uh, into the, the connectors on the Arduino. So um, I think I'm gonna solder on uh, some uh, pin headers on each of the ends of the wires uh, because they are better suited for connecting to a breadboard. Then let me try to solder on this uh, pin header. However, it's not easy when you have to hold three things and only have two hands. So. Now that I soldered all the pin headers, I have uh, heat shrink tubes uh, over each uh, solder joint to protect it and to prevent any uh, short. All right, the cable and connector is uh, completed. And uh, now it's uh, much easier to uh, connect to pins uh, in the breadboard or into an Arduino. All right, cable and connector is complete and uh, now I'm gonna test it inside the Commodore to see if it's working as expected. Fits very well. I turn on the machine and now I'm gonna measure if I get the correct 5 volt output from the 5 volt uh, wire and uh, just uh, measure between 5 volt uh, wire and the ground and it has a good uh, 5.04 volts so that's excellent. Test the other ground wire too. Yeah same there. All right, so uh, let's build a little circuit and see if we can uh, power it with the Commodore. I have here a small breadboard, which is a handy device for building uh, simple circuits. And uh, I also got a red LED, which I'm gonna 
put into the breadboard and um, notice the different lengths of the legs of the LED and the shorter one should uh, always go against the minus uh, or the ground. So I'll put it here. And this blue line indicates uh, minus the ground side of the circuit. Now we can't just uh, connect the 5 volt uh, output from the Commodore to this LED directly because uh, these kinds of LEDs are typically rated for 2 volts only and uh, uh, a maximum uh, current of uh, 20 milliamps or so. So uh, let's say we want to uh, use uh, 10 milliamps on this LED uh, and the Commodore is rated uh, for maximum out output of uh, 100 milliamps on the user port. So then we need to uh, reduce uh, the current for this LED and uh, uh, remove uh, 3 volts from the voltage by a resistor and if, if we use uh, Ohm's law, which uh, says uh, U equals uh, the resistance times uh, the current, and then we calculate that the current must be the voltage divided by the current, which is 3 volts divided by 0 0.01 amps then we comes out with a resistor value about uh, 300 uh, ohms and the 3 volts here is uh, 5 volts from the computer minus uh, 2 volts uh, on the LED gives 3 volts and I have a 330 ohm resistor here which I'm gonna put between the LED and the plus 5 volts. If you don't put this current limiting resistor into the circuit then you will probably uh, burn out the LED or maybe burn out uh, or damage your computer. So let's test if we can power this LED by uh, using the power from the computer's user port. Uh, while you are connecting up uh, a circuit, uh, leave the computer off so that you don't accidentally um, short circuit anything. All right, let's turn the machine on. Okay, that's um, power to the LED. All right, we have a cable from the computer's uh, user port. Uh, we are using the 5 volts from the computer to power LED, which are current limited by the resistor. And uh, this was uh, part one of this project. I uh, hope you will uh, see uh, my next part. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos of this kind. Thank you very much. Bye bye.